Hello guys, welcome back. Since you've seen the instructions for building the Lego Boost robotic arm, now we're going to code it with the keyboard key. And by that, I mean when we press a certain key, it should do a certain function. Now, one thing we need to know is we're going. I'm going to tell you the keys real quick. The up arrow should move the robotic arm up, the down arrow should move the robotic arm down, the right arrow should turn the robotic arm right, and the left arrow should turn the robotic arm left. Okay, to close the arm, we need to press C. To open the arm, we need to press O. Now, if you remember from my other boost project, we coded with scratch. And that's what we're going to do right now. So first things first, we need to make sure we have scratch link on. And I'm gonna type in scratch link. So now you can see the scratch link cap on the bottom right corner. The next thing you need to do is go to the browser, type in scratch dot m i t dot e d u. Okay, make sure you have an account. If you don't, you can create one. Just type a username and password. Now click on create to create a new project. I'm going to name this, how about robotic arm? Okay, now that we've been naming it. The next thing we want to do is sync it with Lego Boost. To connect Scratch with Lego Boost, go to this Add Extension button and go to the Lego Boost extension. Make sure you have Bluetooth on and click Start Searching and then press the On button of your Lego Boost Hub. You can see. Okay, once it says connected, go to Editor. Now we need to make the controls together when key pressed. We want to make it up arrow. Now let's go to the Lego Boost blocks and get set motor A speed to 100%, not A, B, C, D, which means all the motors, but only A. We're going to use motor A to move the arm up and down we're going to use motor B to open and close the robotic arm. And we're going to use motor C to turn around the robotic arm. So you must know that motor A and B are on the Lego Boost Hub. It also has letters that say it's there on the back. Motor C is an external interactive motor. Now, the reason why I pulled up a speed block is we don't want it to go at regular speed. Let, let's make it 40%. After that, we are going to grab um, a set motor direction block. And instead of this way, we're going to put it that way. Because we want it to move up, which is the opposite of this way. Move it down for us. Now we need to turn motor A for four rotations. Now what we need to do now. One more thing. I'm using gears, so that's why I put four rotations. It won't make the arm go all the way back. Now we're going to do it for the down arrow and for that, we're just going to duplicate it. Change this to down arrow. And this time we want motor B, no motor A. This way and 30% speed. Now the reason why we want it lower is because since it's going down, it'll, bear, it'll have to bear more weight. So 40% might make it go a little too fast. But, okay, we're done with this code now. After that, let's duplicate this for the left and right part. Once we've done this now, 
Let's change it to left arrow. Now, what did we say earlier? We said that we wanted motor C to turn it. So let's change this on to motor C. This time it's going to be twenty percent because it needs to hold the item without dropping it. Let's put this way. And now instead of four rotations, we're going to put point eight rotations. The reason for that is that it would, because of our Lego base, we don't want it to go out of there. However, you will have to adjust it accordingly depending on your base. So now we're going to do the exact same code, except this time it's going to be that way. Oh, and to duplicate it, you right click it and click duplicate. So let's change this to right arrow real quick. And this time instead of this way, we're going to put that way. Next part is opening and closing the hand of your Lego robotic arm. Now for this, we're going to need motor B. So I'll just duplicate this. Now there's a slight change. Instead of left or right or the arrow keys, we're going to use letters. How about we start off with O? And this time instead of motor C, we're going to put motor B. And instead of point 0.8, we're going to put point 0.2 because we only want it to open a little amount. Now we're going to duplicate this and change it to the key C. Now that we're done with this. This will be for only 0.1 rotations. And this time, instead of this way, we're going to put that way. Okay, guys, that's all for the code. I'm just going to give you a head start or a tip. You can also program this with the Lego Boost app. The benefits of that is it helps the color sensor be more effective and there's more commands in this project we have not used the color sensor but if you want to you can use it and program it now what it to do is if you put an object in front of it the robotic arm should come pick it up move up and put it somewhere okay so it's time for us to test let's begin Okay, as you guys can see, I have my small keyboard. First, I'm going to show you the close and open functions. Press C to close the arm. Press O to open the arm. Now I'm going to tell you the sequence of when it picks up an item. First, press up. Then press left. After that, press down. Press up again. And then move right. After that, press down. So this is how the arm will work. So let's test it now with one of the wheels. Gonna keep that there. Press C. We're following the exact same sequence. The arm is ready for another job.